the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of better call saul and before we get into it make sure you guys look at the links down below if you want early access to my youtube videos make sure you guys click that join button hit, hit that wolf pack you know what i'm saying um uh, if you want full reactions hit up the patreon if you want live reactions hit up my twitch channel if you want to sub to my second youtube which is pretty much highlights of my twitch channel make sure you give, uh, give that a sub down there and of course last but not least you can find a link to my discord server down there as well click that shit and join a little community all right so <clears throat> last episode on better call saul we it was all about mike all about mike and his um stepdaughter stacy the wife of his uh son maddie and of course kaylee uh right but it was more focused on mike and pretty much a little bit of a backstory so mike used to have a son his name was maddie he was he was also a cop right um so i assume maddie looked up to his father very much i mean we know how badass of a guy mike is so we can only assume that maddie was like that was his hero right and um maddie was a good cop he wasn't dirty uh but apparently mike was right and you know he he just did things to get by in the police department as so he put it and because of that because uh, mike was a little bit dirty he you know, he told his son, it's okay to be a little bit dirty sometimes. And, um, well, Maddie got mixed with a couple bad apples and died. Okay? Which is obviously very fucking sad for Mike. You know what I'm saying? And uh, last episode was definitely the most emotional, the most um, just distraught we've seen Mike. He was broken down, right? Um, when, when you think of a guy like Mike, you think of just a rock solid, you know, just macho man. You know what I'm saying? Donkey Kong, just untouchable. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he was totally vulnerable last episode. And it was very interesting to watch. You know, it, uh, it uh, the fuels train hit me for sure. You know, it, it definitely passed by. In, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I'm very glad we watched that. Uh, it got us uh, some more insight on Mike. And I feel for him now. You know, I'm definitely, uh, as a character, um, I mean, I was already fucking with him before because of his macho man shit. But now that I know he's got a vulnerable side, I'm definitely more attached and um, I can't wait to see the story, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. This is Better Call Saul, Season 1, Episode 7. Make sure I like and subscribe. Maybe your daughter-in-law. Maybe she's got something to tell me. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll see. First thing tomorrow. And you gotta figure she wouldn't reach out to us if she had nothing to say. Hopefully whatever you are. Didn't rub off on the rest of your family. Damn, this guy's mad disrespectful. Now, I don't know Mike's full backstory, but I gotta imagine his good accomplishments outweighed his dirtiness, right? I can assume that, just, just from what we know of Mike. So maybe you should talk to her before we do. I talked. If I were to guess, I'd say she wouldn't tell you much. Either way, that's up to her. That's the least I hope. So I feel like these two have gone through the shits. They, like, he already knows that, he already knows that Mike did it, but he's not treating him like a fucking murderer. That's some, like, real friendship right there. He's just got to learn, that's all. Some rocks you don't turn it over. Okay, I enjoyed that conversation. Also, I wonder if, if showing the these wanted posters played a meaning into all that. You know, because they were talking down here, and the rest of the rest of the screen was all the wanted people. Maybe we there was an Easter egg that I that I missed because I normally do miss them. <laughs> word for word, verbatim, while it's still fresh. What I said is none of your concern. I was speaking to a friend. <laughs> you were speaking to a homicide detective who flew 2,000 miles to investigate a double murder for which you are clearly the prime suspect. How could you not recognize the mind games, the scams? The... That's true. That that did look like your normal run-in-the-mill bad cop, good cop situation where one cop acts like an asshole, the other cop acts like, like a good cop to build rapport, as we've learned from JCS. But, 
I mean, Mike has history with that guy, clearly. Like, actual fucking years, decades of history, I imagine. So, I think that was, I think that guy was cool. Chuck? One twelve, one thirteen. Holy shit, 114. what are you doing? One fifteen, one sixteen, one seventeen, one eighteen, one nineteen, one twenty. Go, go inside. Is he, is he training? <laughs> is he trying to get better? Good. If we know it doesn't exist, but at least he's trying to get better, bro. Real thing. Anyway, as you well know, there is a sixty kilovolt transformer two hundred meters south southwest of my front yard. I've been trying to get acclimated to it. I got up to two minutes today. Jesus, Chuck. Yeah. Two days ago, I could barely stand thirty seconds. I'm trying to get up to five minutes by next week. That's what's up. He's trying. And maybe he'll break himself out of this mental prison, it seems like. This seems like a mental prison. Him not being able to go outside. Okay. Well, clearly, Jimmy's trying to help. You know? Get him back to work, slowly but surely. Uh, that'll for sure do it, man. Maybe we can do this without, you know, revealing to Chuck that this never existed. And we can just tell him later. Because then, I mean, I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. If something that I believed that wasn't true, that was, you know, if that was fucking me up, that was... That low-key might break a person. So if we can do it without that, we'll go for it. It's not some claustrophobic little closet that smells like ass its own. Is this the same... To grow. Is this his Green same Bay, office say, now? Got a decent sized conference room, not as big as Hamlin's, but you know, it's cozy. Our elderly brethren prefer that. I can't tell. Because his office in Breaking Bad was full with a lot of gadgets and stuff. I can't tell. They'd be sick if it was. Like they're showing us how it started, which is obviously what they're doing. Who would that be? Well, you said you were interested in elder law. That's. That is so. Thank you. Really. But you know I've got a lot invested at HHM. With what's going on now, I'm closer than ever to partner. Like maybe two years and I'm in. Damn. That's a good try, Jimmy. Hey, that was a good try. <laughs> as far as good tries look, as, as good tries go, that was, that was one of them. But, you know, HHM looks like where it's at. I had the extra office and everything. Yeah, no, I get it. I want to see the kitchen. Wow. Sorry, Jimmy. She's definitely interested in him. Why would she even come here? She's definitely interested in him. Right? Just gotta, just gotta, you know. Try a little different avenues. Maybe not work towards. However, after much discussion with the DA, who is also invested in keeping the press to a minimum, we have arrived at an arrangement, which would include 16 months in a county facility. 16 months. Down from 30 years. And you most likely wouldn't serve all of it. But he would have to say he was guilty. Bitch, who cares? That's only a year. That's, that's fine. Take that. I will say, though, if they had our boy Jimmy on them, I think he'd be able to cut it off completely because he's that good. However, I'd like to emphasize again that this deal is Craig's best chance of minimizing jail time. You're telling us there are drug dealers and murderers walking the streets, but instead of going after them, they want to put an innocent man in jail. There's no other... Yo, what is wrong with her? I'm sorry, I think <laughs> under the circumstances... This, this is the power of the mind, guys. This is the power of the mind. You can convince yourself that the complete opposite of what's really going on. Totally inauthentic. Casey Anthony. You can convince yourself. You're fired. Oh, shit. How about we go to my office and discuss... She runs shit. <laughs> that won't be necessary. We will no longer be requiring so, services. Okay, okay. so that they means there there can only be one place they can turn to. We're done here. Please stop following us. Jimmy. And if Jimmy can break them out, 
of this whole situation. That's pretty big. That's a really big case, no? That's fucking millions of dollars. Stolen. But at this point, it's definitely the wife wanting to save face over the money or anything. She, she just wants to keep the reputation of their family as goody goody two shoes, done nothing wrong, you know, straight lay, straight edge. Which is kind of fucking pathetic, but it is what it is. A lot of that shit exists is today. Number one, morning, noon, or night. Yes, and I meant what I said at the time, but times change. Hell yeah. But we've already paid you a retainer. Oh, that's true. They did. Right. That is very true. A retainer. That's legal. That is what you called it. That was your specific terminology. Damn. That would have been so satisfying if you said no. Straight to their faces, too. But he did, he did pay for... They did pay for a retainer, so... Jimmy, I'm serious. They left because they think they can win this case, but they can't. I managed to scrape together from practically nothing, I might add, a deal they should feel lucky to have. This is their absolute best bet. Please... Make them understand it's better for them if they come back. Tell me about this deal. Do it for your girl. She asked, now you gotta do it, bro. Especially if you want her. Can we all three just parachute down from cloud cuckoo land? Because we know without question there is money. I distinctly remember a spirited game of tug of war over this money. Money which we then discussed at length. You made many excuses justifying your possession of said money. It's there. <laughs> yeah, shut the hell up. Let him talk. If there were any money. Lady, enough. If there were any money, there would have to be a full accounting of it. Every penny would have to be present. Every single penny. You understand? Ooh, she, yeah, she... She is going to snitch immediately if they're found guilty. Craig is just a sheep. Craig, why are you just, why are you just a sheep, bro? Talk, speak up. God damn it, Craig. She's right, though. Retainer, m money, you know, money trail. She's right. Well, that's what you call it. You're going to punish her just because you lost those two batshit kettlemans? You notice I'm not exactly crowing over how I snaked them away from you. Jimmy, here are your files. I'm not going to discuss my employee policies with you. I'm gonna need some help here. Yeah, you sure are. <laughs> okay, looks like we got the Kettleman case. Um, now here's the here's the here's the thing. There is no doubt in my mind that Jimmy can get can actually prove Craig innocent because we know Jimmy he's, he's got the charisma and he, he's got the skills as as a lawyer. He just does, right? He's the best in my eyes. Um, but. If he solves this case better than Kim does, I mean, she ain't going to like that. Should definitely congratulate him and whatnot, but, I mean, do. Took the case from his, from his girl and did, did it better. I worked my ass off finagling with the DA, and it's just, like, whatever. There's got to be a way, you know? I take it to court. You will lose. Kettleman did a terrible job covering his tracks. For starters, they've got reams of checks he wrote for false expenses. And I can't even challenge her admission into evidence because he wrote them to himself. That definitely must suck. She, you can tell she put mad work into this, and then they just cut her off. She lost, she lost the clients. She gets demoted after all that work. That probably feels really shitty and very stressful. A lawyer looks like a hard ass job, bro. You gotta constantly research. It's like schoolwork doesn't end when you're a lawyer. Normally when 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 you, you know, fucking graduate, get your job, you don't have to do homework anymore or schoolwork. This looks like schoolwork to me. Fuck that. <laughs> I hated that shit. What in the fuck was that about? 10k on the back of a little toy truck. And Mike did it. 
What is Jimmy's plan? I can't wait to hear it. It must be a good one. I don't know what's going on. Should I know? Am I stupid? So is it like Jimmy returning the money to them? That wasn't the full 30k though. Oh, is he trying to find out where they hid their money? What? Huh. Well, I mean, I don't think Jimmy wants to take it, nor Mike. Because he just did that whole Maddie thing. That dirty stuff. There it is. Damn. That's good. They took the money? Jesus. Gets bigger every time I look at it. Thanks for not heading to the Bahamas with this. For real? Mike's a real one for that. He could just left. A couple mil. What are you doing? He's making it complete. The right thing. Wait, I think I know what's going on. You know where you're going? Yeah. <clears throat> Am I correct in assuming we're now square? I think I know what's going on. Jimmy stole the money back from the family. Assuming the family didn't spend a dime. And they didn't because they're running the whole time. Also, they're, they're well off. They don't have to spend that money anyway. They're just saving it for a rainy day, right? And then Jimmy adds on to what they gave him to make the money complete. And now I think Jimmy's going to give it back to where it belongs... So now Craig is actually innocent. Do I have it wrong? I feel like that's that's the plan here, which is shit. That's a great plan. Shikamaru level. Obviously, the, the family's not going to, you know, like that very much. But it seemed like being innocent was more important than the money in the situation, especially for the wife. You absolutely could. And I'd be in a mess of trouble, a real pickle. But so would you, Mrs. Kettleman. Because right now, only Mr. Kettleman is on the hook for the whole embezzlement kerfluffle. But the bribe, we're, we're back to calling it a bribe? Yeah, that implicates you as well. Damn, that's a noble-ass move. He turns it back to Kim, so Kim gets the credit. What the fuck? That is some anime protagonist shit right there. Oh, Jimmy McGill. Wow, amazing. I got nothing to lose. Christ, you should see my office. No, it's not over. Let's find another lawyer. Not bad. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have to put up with this. I will not be treated this way. Betsy. Craig, how the fuck you marry her? She's, she's entitled, st stuck up. Doesn't listen? What the fuck? How the fuck you married this bitch, Rick? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? Maybe it was the kids. Maybe they had kids before the marriage. Damn. Talk about a good guy move. Wow. Holy shit, man. What a guy. She's gotta fucking marry my guy after this, right? This is just like... And he gets... he gets, I mean, obviously, what he gets out of this is involved with Kim. But other than that, he gets nothing. It's all, all, all the time he spent on this case, too. And because he had to use his own money, he can't buy this place anymore, right? Fuck, bro. Man, well, this didn't seem like the uh, the Saul Goodman office anyway. The Saul Goodman office was more was in a plaza, it, wasn't it? It wasn't in some kind of building. So this is this this looks like the wrong place anyway. It's, it's all right, Jimmy. You'll you, you'll get your uh, you'll get your office sooner or later. Don't worry about it. And your Coco Cabana freaking desk. It's coming, buddy. <laughs>
Just like episode one. Frustration. But this time, though, I don't think he should be frustrated. I think he should feel good about himself. He did a good thing. Sure, it's, it's kind of sets back in his ways a little bit. He's got to put things on pause. But, dude, he did a good thing. I'd be proud. Law offices of James M. McGill, how may I direct your call? Damn, that ending though, with the sad fucking acting like his own secretary. Fucking pathetic. <laughs> God damn it, Jimmy. Um damn, that was fire. Again, another like um another episode where I mean we see Jimmy's big brain plays, you know? Um I mean damn, that is that is the definition of a good guy move you know he gets absolutely no benefit the only benefit that i can see him getting from this is obviously you know his relationship with kim obviously goes up the rapport boom you know plus one on there um but everything else he spent time on that he spent money on that he had to use his favor with mike you know uh and he had to, he had to give up his new office space like wow i mean Look, we're on the internet. This is what you would call a simp, sure. But, I mean, dude, the way he did it was, was fucking, it was sick. I mean, um, just seeing Mike do his own thing again, fucking him being fucking Assassin's Creed old man, <laughs> uh, it, it, it is, uh, is awesome within, within itself. So I thought the plan was great. Um, I don't think our guy... The dad, Kettleman guy, is... Uh, I forgot his name. He's just a sheep. Craig, Craig. He's not, He's going to be labeled as guilty here. Um, so they will have the deal. He'll go to jail for a year and a half. That's fine. That deal was fine. I, I saw no problems with that deal. You know what I'm saying? And also, um, I was expecting for Jimmy to actually prove Craig innocent. You know? Um, that they were going to go to trial and he was going to do... He was gonna do his thing, right? But then that would have made his relationship with Kim worse because that would mean he was a better lawyer and then blah, 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 you know, that whole fucking pride thing. But instead they go the route of him actually helping out Kim. I wasn't expecting that. So that was fire. Love that. All right, well, uh, can't wait to watch the next episode, y'all. That's gonna be it for this reaction, though. Before I end, make sure you guys look at the links down below. If you want early access to my YouTube vids, hit that join button, you know what I'm saying? If you want full reactions, hit up my Patreon. If you want live reactions, hit up my Twitch channel. Uh, if you want uh, my second YouTube, which pretty much have has the highlights of my Twitch channel on there, give that a sub as well. And last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server down there. Click that shit and join our little community. Other than that, I'm out of here. You guys have a good one, and I'll see y'all for the next episode of Better Call Saul. All right? Peace.